Tom French here and welcome back to my channel and today yes as you can tell by the title it is trash day it is my May empties my May empties yes because we're in June now it is my May empties so this is the bag that you guys see every month I've actually been keeping up with this really well which is good for me because I, I forget things so easily but I have a bag of trash to show you guys um, so rather than ramble on I'm going to get straight into it because I do not want to keep you here all day and I want to give you my thoughts on what products I've been using so let's get rid of our cereal offenders as we do every month <laughs> there's two this time um, it's got to be Schwarzkopf got to be volumizing big sexy style hairspray volumizing hairspray love this stuff it keeps my hair hard and solid and in place if I do styles like I have in currently which is a bit of a mess right now but it's okay and uh, as we can currently see by my hair colour it's looking a little bit faded I've just had a good cut off it I've had a good couple of inches off it and yeah I think I'm going to change the colour so yeah it's gonna be you may see a lot of wigs <laughs> let's just say that because I need to fade this bad boy out before I change the colour that I want to change it to so let's just carry on with my rubbish talk and I will show you what I've got so the first thing I'm grabbing is a selfie uh, sheet mask this is a mermaid sheet mask I got this from home bargains I think it was 99p it's from skin treats it was super cute loved it it was for is it moisturize it repair and revitalize and my skin felt really nice after i used this i had it um you may have seen the picture on my instagram stories but it was really cute and it fit my face really really nicely it didn't didn't have any overhanging bits it just fit really well and i did like how my skin felt afterwards so for 99p that's a bargain then we have these new age argan oil cleansing facial wipes you may have seen these in my last empties i didn't like them so much they felt a little bit too scratchy and not that great on my skin um but that was the last one i think it was like a pack of two or three it was a twin pack twin pack so that was the second one so that's gone and i'm glad i won't be buying those again um the next thing i use is a garnier i didn't do sorry guys i get i always get an itchy ear when i'm filming um i used the garnier skincare moisture bomb eye sheet masks um i used these just before i went to beauty uk basically i just um walloped them on my eyes while i was doing my eye makeup so i just had them on underneath because i left my foundation off um, so I got a good boost of hyaluronic acid and orange juice to reduce eye bags and brighten my eyes and I used that before I went to Beauty UK love them, love how they feel on my skin highly recommend them, I think they're a few quid I, I can't remember how much I paid, it might have been £2 or 2 or £3 but they're really nice on the eyes, I really like them uh, the next thing I've got is a 417 Redefine Facial Micro Loofah Foaming Gel wow that was a mouthful that's what it looks like um it was okay um i wouldn't say that it felt like um it didn't feel like it was like really exfoliating it was nice to use on the face and get your makeup off and stuff so it wasn't like too too um you could probably use this daily because it didn't really feel like it was doing a lot the little tiny little micro fibers didn't feel like they were you know when you use a, a good microfiber microfiber <laughs> when you use a good um oh what are they called you know the ones with the little bits in oh my god i've just gone brain dead um but you know when you use the exfoliants with all the little bits in, you can feel those gritty bits well these you can't feel as well did like it but i wouldn't rebuy it but it was nice it was nice i got it in glossy box so yeah that's a good one but not enough in the exfoliant way then we have Soap and Glory Sugar Crush. This is one of my favourite scents from Soap and Glory and I just literally got what I could. I think I even added water to it. Oh, it smells so good. This is one of my favourite scents and it actually makes my mouth water to smell it. Um, I love it. Sugar Crush was the first uh, scent I discovered from Soap and Glory. I think I got it in a Christmas gift um, and I love it. I love citrus smells. So sad that it's gone. And I think that's the last Soap and Glory shower gel I have from Christmas now. Um, we're on just a body sprays. But I love this. Love it. Probably would buy it. But I just wait till Christmas because people buy me it. So I'm not, I'm not complaining. You buy me that Soap and Glory all day long. Um, next we have 
a perfume i have been working so hard on this perfume um i've had it for quite a while i think my mum brought it me for a christmas not last year the year before i think um and i've just been trying because i have a lot of perfumes and i've just thought right do you know what focus on one and work my way through it and i did and it's this um how to marry a millionaire starring marilyn monroe and if i remember correctly if my daughter will totally comment on this it smells like olympia is it olympia olympia olympus olympia um but it smells like that really liked the smell um the bottle design is a little bit weird if the little if the little doodad thing sprays the wrong way it kind of hits the packaging but i really like like the smell and i really like the packaging and i would definitely use that again um but i think because i was trying to get through it um i got a little bit bored of the smell but it is really nice. now i'm re-smelling it. it smells really good i think my mum got it from savers so don't know whether they still do it but it smells it's like a dupe for olympia i'm pretty sure that's what it's called pretty sure so the next thing we have is an essentials cucumber eye gel now the lovely wacky world of lottie sent me this in a box and i finally used it i've literally i literally used it every single day morning and night every single day would i say it made the puffiness reduce in my eyes not really i mean i'm 39 so um i have puffy under eyes you guys can see it you've probably seen it in a million videos because i'm not afraid to sit in front of the camera with my makeup off um i have this on eye under eye area and i absolutely hate it but i deal with it because i'm 39 i'm literally touching 40 it's scary but i am um but yeah it was quite nice it was quite refreshing but i wouldn't say it like depuffed my bags so nice but i wouldn't buy it but thank you lottie i did do, i do appreciate you thinking of my under eye bags <laughs> um la, la, la. right there's two of these ones these are olay total effects seven in one so oh, i'll just show you the one because they're both the same so um these this is an anti-aging moisturizer olay has been in my family forever like my mum used to always use the original olay in the white bottle i think my nan even used it um and i got sent a full-size bottle and a load of samples there's literally li literally there's one up here there's they're they're literally everywhere and i gave a few away um but i have a few left so i thought you know what let's just get through these and i've used two and i think i've got one full one here and i think i've got another one downstairs but um at the minute i'm using the revolution skincare and i want to kind of stick to that just to see how that makes my skin feel and so far so good on that the skincare's working good i like the under eye serum it's kind of an update but i will do a proper video if you guys want to see it um i'm really loving the under eye serum i wouldn't say that it is working miracles but i have noticed a slight change in the wrinkly bits under here um i'd say they've improved slightly i use it every morning and every evening and um the other one i forget what it's called oil it's not an oil um serum the other serum with the hyaluronic acid in it's really nice love it it doesn't feel oily on the skin it sinks straight in my skin loves it i'm going off topic i'm supposed to be telling you about my rubbish right <laughs> the next product is a regenerate enamel science toothpaste now i have to tell you guys i really liked this toothpaste not only does it look glittery when you open it but i have like some weird enamel damage on my front teeth here and i swear i swear whilst using it it's improved i i kid you not i mean it's supposed to um acts on early invisible stages of erosion helps to generate regenerate enamel by restoring its mineral content and micro hardness with regular use pea-sized regular use clinically proven sorry it's because i'm reading it in a weird way really like this i have no idea how much this costs but i genuinely think that it improved my teeth like genuinely think i mean i have yellow teeth guys i drink a lot of tea um but that erosion seems to have like got better i don't even know if that's possible like but 
I'm gonna have to have a look how much this is and if it's not stupid money then I'll buy it but if you want to send it me for free I'm totally up for this it's it's a good toothpaste I really like it and the bonus is it's sparkly I don't even think I can get any out to show you guys I'll see if I can squeeze oh I don't know whether you'll pick it up on the camera but it has like I swear to god it looks like glitter but it's not um but it looks all sparkly and I liked it I liked how it made my teeth feel so that was a good empty what have we got left oh we have a Philorgia time filler um, I think it's like a face cream I used it on my face anyway <laughs> don't know whether it was an under eye cream or a face cream I forget but um yeah it, it was okay I wouldn't say because it's a small sample I wouldn't say I like my skin was amazing um, but it was a nice little uh, moisturizer and it's nice to always get skincare in your boxes because you get to try loads of different kinds of skincare and then find the stuff you like but yeah that was a nice little moisturizer and we have we're still working through the advent calendar guys it's um, a midnight bloom warm vanilla sugar bubble bath so i used that it was from an advent calendar that my mum got me for christmas and then well, i put this in here guys and i it's in my toilet still but i don't think it's that great i don't know it didn't it doesn't go all foamy and it says rich foaming action there is no there is nothing rich or foaming about this toilet cleaner toilet what do you call these things rim blocks <laughs> i have no idea i think that's what they're called i don't know but it's not that great it was 99p i can't smell it it's not foaming up in my toilet so i really wanted a tropical a tropical sunshine in my toilet but it didn't happen so that is i think the last there wasn't much in the way of empties it's more just me just just sitting here and chatting to you guys because you guys know that's what i love to do once i start talking you can hear my voice start to go and it's just like i don't know i can't help myself i just like talking and i like talking to you guys and if you're here to hear me ramble on that's brilliant um but that is my empties for may but yes that is my empties for may i hope you enjoyed this video is there anything in there that you've used or that you love too let me know in the comments below if there if there's anything that i should try and you guys know about then let me know that too but um i'm gonna let you guys go because i think i've kept you here long enough but i hope you enjoyed this video and give me a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't and i will see you in the next one bye